So for this, I'm just reading straight from a feature service that I have in ArcGIS Online. Uh, what I've got set up, so I'm just going back to ArcGIS here. So I've created basically a road hazard reporting system of sorts. So I've created a map, and from that I've created a custom web application that'll let users actually draw directly on my map. So, I'll just so did you up. take weeks to do this, or was this pretty quick? Uh, this was probably a couple of minutes just okay, to get this okay. figured out. So. so it's not like when I was young. Okay. <laughs> pretty straightforward, which is nice. Uh, so basically in here I've got a map um, that lets people draw in polygons to show an area. Say maybe there's some kind of hazard on the road and you want to report um, some some. Uh, so there problem. might be some, uh, if we go over here to commercial drive, there might be some yuppies loose right over here. <laughs> commercial, yeah. <laughs> that's, so that's what's here. There's a... Uh, a yuppie alert over there. <laughs> They're all going to fancy restaurants. Oh. Okay. So I can add in um, attributes if I didn't double click too fast. Okay, there you go. There we go. So then the hazard would be loose yuppies or whatever we wanted to do. I see, okay. So let's try again there. Okay. Got a little. Okay. That was working yesterday. So <laughs> ideally, you'd be able to put in some attributes and add some information about yes. what was going on in there. Okay, that's but, fine. Yeah, not working at the moment. I know that there was a new RGS Online update last night, just what we needed. Uh, yeah, so, so. Um, Eric was telling us that. So, <laughs> But on these ones, were there some attributes on those? Yes, yeah, so there's some information in here that yes. I put in yesterday. Yeah, so. Ice on the road. Well, that in Vancouver, that's really bad. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Doesn't happen we, don't have, we don't have plows like Eric uh, <laughs> to help us. Okay, so then what do you do now? So I've got this workspace here that reads the information from this uh, layer, this yep. road hazards layer that people can add to. It takes those polygons, and I'm using a feature reader here to overlay those polygons with um, a road uh, set of lines short, showing oh, the road network in Vancouver. Yes. So I can see which road segments have problems. Yes. And then I'm just going to write that out to a KML for people to be able to see easily. This, this feature reader, where is it pulling its data from? So this is pulling in from Oh, a map, map info, info file. file. Okay, so we're picking up a map info file, spatially connecting or relating those things, and then you're going to output it to KML. Yeah. Okay. So this could be anything really. Yep. Be input. Spatial database or whatever. Okay, here we go. So I can run this, and that actually grabs all the live updates from that layer and pushes them out to my KML file. Right. Which, if you were Eric, you could go put that on Windows Azure, and then people could use that in different uh, workflows as well. Yeah, that's So true. now what's going to happen? Okay. So there's the KML that was just created. Okay. Yep, today 847. That's good. Okay. Then uh -huh. here's my road hazard report. You can see all the hazards that are in here. So you can even see the two that I just added in here. Oh, and it, it, I see it. Um, it basically projected them onto the line network. Yeah. So we don't see the polygons you drew. You actually see where the lines are of yes. the thing. Oh, there's so a I fallen tree. I can see the actual tree. road segment, and I can know what the block was, for example. Yeah. Right. Well, because the block got picked up from uh, from the map info file. Yeah. I see. And, and these ones will be here. the unnamed ones. Yeah. The so hazards whose name we shall not say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too okay. bad to report, yeah. Yes. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. So that's again reading. So basically, creating a system where people use the interactivity and the ease of creating an application with ArcGIS Online, and then using FME downstream to create derived products from that. Yeah. Awesome. So one thing I could do with this is uh, put it into a KML network link. Yes. And then get live updates whenever somebody reports sure. a hazard in here. With so. FME server. So FME yeah. server would be hitting ArcGIS Online every time somebody moved around in Google Earth. Yeah. Or it became stale because you can have a timeout as well. I yeah, I think this can refresh every couple of minutes or yeah, seconds, yeah. whatever you want.